When I was going to join the University of Nairobi, one of the things my parents sat me down and told me mm. was, mm. politics will be a high school. You can't join university So please, yeah. on behalf of other people and yeah. writing letters and whatever, yeah. stop it. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I got to the university and discovered Sonu. So, and I, I wanted to be a leader, I wanted to make a change. And so I thought, hmm, I need to call home and say, I want to get into this thing, and I think it is politics. So my father said, okay, that's fine. Oh, the reception for that yeah, was good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, so mm. then in first year, contested for Sonu, Congress lady, got it. Got it? Yeah, then Aish. second year, third year, gender secretary, then right. third year, fourth year, um, vice chair academics. Mm -hmm. I was the first female vice chair. Mm. To be elected, and ever since that mm. is a position for women mm. on mm. campus. Mm. Um, university politics really shaped me mm. in a big way. I joined the university so green from the village, naive. Um, and by the time I was leaving, I had experienced lots of stuff. I mm. had learned to fight for myself, I had learned um, to work harder and look for opportunities to make money. Because mm. then by then I took on the responsibility as a first year mm. to support my younger sibling mm. and then start sending some money home to the parents. through help. Yeah. Yeah. So. You are totally a sandwich <laughs> um, child. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So so that was so that wait, was interesting. Let, let, let's mm -hmm. let's let's place these years in context just so that also the person who's following can see you there. Um, what years are these that you encompass? So 2000, from 2002, 2002 to 2006. And you are I the mean, main campus? Yeah, main campus. Main campus. Yes. What hall are you living in? Hall 4. And the most amazing thing is mm -hmm. I lived in Hall 4 all my all life through. on campus. Because then I was a student leader, so right. I had a single room to myself. Oh, look at that. The whole yeah. time. All that, all through. <laughs> hey, sh hey Car yeah. Karen. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Very nice. Very nice. And um, student leadership and student politics. At, I mean, at your interacting, Sonu is known for many things, including um, alignment and at times disalignment with, with uh, <laughs> national politics and the flow of either national politics or at times um, opposition. So during your tenure, where were you? What was, what was the climate at least at the time? So I remember vividly that um, when I was a Congress lady and gender secretary, I wasn't aware that national politics and political parties at the national level actually do infiltrate student politics. Mm -hmm. When I got into student politics, I knew I wanted to serve, I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to study, yes, but mm. still engage in shaping conversations and discourses at the university and at the national level when mm. it came to young people. Mm. Um, but then when I was vice chair, I discovered, oh, okay. So this is not just that. <laughs> yeah. Here we are dealing with that bigger fish than, exactly than, than that, just that, what's on the surface. That what happens at the national level in the political space is actually mirrored yeah. in student completely, politics. Completely. Like that that was really interesting. And mm. I remember mm. during the um, referendum, mm. yes and no campaign. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. it, it was crazy. Yeah. Oh, it was crazy. Yeah. And I think it was really tough on student leaders because by then, Professor Magoha was the vice chancellor. Mm -hmm. And I remember him sending a strong message to student leaders and saying, guys, you will not lead students on strike mm. because of the referendum. Mm. If you do so, I will hold you accountable. Mm. And of course, I think there were some alignments going on and happening. Mm. But for me, I think it was always clear that, you know, I got into this space to make a change. Mm. And that is what I wanted to see. And that is what I was working for. Mm. So somehow I didn't get to join the different factions, political mm. functions mm. that mm. Uh, were going on All right. at the time. Mm. Mm. Uh, but definitely before I cleared university, mm -hmm. I then discovered what I had been doing for the four years mm. at the university was politics. It was. And so I decided that, you know what, I've been able to make some little change mm. at the university. So that means mm. 
I can go to my constituency and vie to become MP and make even bigger change for my community. For, for your community. So we'll move to that. I don't want to leave campus yet. What? So before you even move away out of campus, mm -hmm. uh, I want to hear how. What were you pursuing in campus? And then also what were other than politics, what were your other interests in campus? Okay. Then, then we can move away from campus. So communication and sociology. So mm -hmm. communication largely had lots of mass communication media mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then sociology, yeah, relating with people, mm -hmm. blah, 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 what mm -hmm. happens in society mm -hmm. and, and all that. All right. But then I enjoyed um, the communication aspect of it so much mm -hmm. That then when time came for me to look for attachment, I went to KTN. Hmm.